My name is Jersey Joel. I've lived in New Jersey my entire life. I love fishing and the outdoors. I love catching big fish, small fish, and multi-species. New Jersey offers a great variety of fishing for all types of anglers. With the many lakes, ponds, rivers, streams, creeks, reservoirs, and the Atlantic Ocean not far away, the sky is the limit when it comes to New Jersey fishing. If you love fishing and the outdoors and nature as much as I do, then subscribe to my channel and come along with me on my fishing adventures. I hope you enjoy the ride. Hey, what's up guys? Jojo Joel Fishing here. Hope everyone has a great day today. The date is October 11th, 2023. I'm gonna do some fall trout fishing today. They did the fall trout stocking this week, so I'm gonna bounce around to a couple of spots and see if we can get a big fall rainbow trout and maybe I'll do a catch and cook. I love the fall trout fishing. They stock the much bigger trout, the brood stock, the breeder trout. Some of the trout are up to 24 inches in length. So I'm gonna throw the MEP spinner, throw some power bait, and see if we can get some big fall rainbow trout, like I said, and maybe we'll do a catch and cook. Let me head over to the first spot and start fishing, and I'll talk to you guys when I get there. All right, I am at the river. It looks like there are a couple of other trout fishermen here already. Let's see if I can get a good spot. Usually they always do the fall stocking right over the bridges. This is one of the known spots they stock in the spring and the fall. Let's see if I can get a big fall trout this morning. Did you get any yet? What's that? Oh, really? Is there a guy on the other side there? Yeah. Oh, there is? What about across? No, nobody over there. The guy up the street just a little bit. But... Okay, so I can go across the other side diagonal from you? Yeah. Okay, yeah. thank you. It's muddy over there. Okay. Yeah, it's always muddy. All right. There are two guys fishing the other side of the bridge, so the guy just told me this side's open. Are you using a fly rod? Nice. Any bites yet? Yeah. I know they get picky the first couple days, right? Yeah, yeah. It's always muddy on this side, right? I know, the spots where you... Like... I think I'm going to throw power bait first, and then I'll throw a spinner. Got my Miami Dolphins fishing combo set up. I got over the summer rainbow-colored power bait. These trout usually love this color. Well, we'll see what happens. Looks like he's leaving. I might head over to that side in a few minutes. I'm already over here. Let me take a few casts. He got two. Nice. All right, let's see if I get one on the rainbow colored power bait. All right guys, fall trout fishing. Here we go, first cast. All 
I got power bait, I got spinners, and I got night crawlers. So hopefully I get one of these trout on one of those baits. Let me throw a spinner for a few casts. Then I'll go back to the power bait. This is actually a Thomas spinner. I don't throw a Thomas that often, but similar to the MEPS, I have caught some nice fish on the Thomas spinner in the past. We'll see what happens. Hopefully I get one on this side. All right, here we go. Got one. Nice one. You got one. Good fight. It's a big one. All right. We got one on the power bait. Nice one. Yeah. Power bait? No, oh, he hit the spinner. Yeah. I should go back to the spinner. Good job, brother. Yep. Yeah, a lot of guys didn't. Hey, buddy, how you doing? Good, how are you? Not bad, any luck? Not yet, he just caught a nice one on a spinner. Oh, yeah? Five minutes ago, yeah. Nobody really caught many yesterday at all. Well, the um, first day they throw them in, they, they don't really bite the first day. They yeah, they're raised in a concrete pen their whole life. They don't know what the heck a wild river is or what to bite. I don't know if they're going to call it this morning. What kind of power, what color power bait are you using? He got a spinner. That one on a spinner. All right, I'm going to stick the underwater camera here in front of me and see if I get a big rainbow chasing the MEPS. We'll see what happens. I did have a few chase the MEPS right in front of me, so maybe I'll catch them with the underwater camera. We'll see. early the next morning hey guys it's early the next morning i am back the first one here by this bridge i did lose three or four nice rainbow trout yesterday let's see if i can finally land one this morning and we can do a catch and cook for this video let me throw the mep spinner first i got a gold number two meps and then i'll try the power bait and we'll see if i can get one there's still a lot of trout in here. Only a few have been caught. They usually don't bite when they first get stocked. It takes them a few days sometimes. All right, let me throw the MEPS and see what happens. Here we go, first cast. A lot of them hang out directly under the middle of the bridge. Five minutes later. Who had a bite? Got one. Oh, look at that jump. Got one. Come here, buddy. Come here. 
Nice one. Try to get him in the net. Got him. Look at that, the hook came right out. All right. Didn't take long. That was like the sixth, seventh cast. Nice. Beautiful, fat, fall rainbow trout, guys. On the maps. Yes. Beautiful rainbow trout. Yes. Only took five minutes. He's going to be good dinner. Couple other guys shut up. All right, that was fish number one. Let's see if we can get fish number two. I'm at bridge number two. I'm glad I caught that trout when I did. Right away, those old timers showed up and waders across from me. They were literally casting right on top of me. They saw me catching that trout. They couldn't resist. I don't mind sharing spots. Sometimes the spots are small, but shouldn't really cast on top of somebody. So I left. Nobody's here at this bridge. Haven't fished this bridge yet. Let's see if we can get some more trout over here. It's pretty shallow though. I may have to move spots again. Let me take a few casts and see what happens. Very, very muddy here. Very muddy. It's like quicksand. I think this is too shallow. Well, let me take a few casts, see what happens. All right, here we go. Let me go to the other side, see how it is, and I'll switch spots again. Yeah, I'm going to switch spots. It's way too shallow for my liking. I don't even see any trout swimming around. These bigger fall trout, they need the deeper holes. GoPro, stop recording. All right, let's see if there's any trout over here. All right, nothing by the bridge. Let me try this much wider pool up here. Let me try the maps over here. This is normally a great pool. Nice and wide. It's deep. One guy, second cast on the MEPS. My GoPro turned off for a minute. Nice one. Let me get the net. Gonna have to go down there and get him. Come here, buddy. Where is he? I netted him just as the MEPS fell out of his mouth, guys. I netted him just in time. Don't know why my GoPro turned off. Second cast on the MEPS, guys, right in the middle of the current. I netted him just in time because the MEPS came right out of his mouth as he got in the net. Another nice, beautiful, fat rainbow. All right, I got two now. 
Another fat, beautiful fall rainbow trout. All right, my GoPro battery just died. I went to the car, I switched batteries. Now I'm good. Two rainbow trout are ready this morning. I got two more to get my limit. Halfway there, both on the MEP spinner. This is my third spot of the morning, bouncing around. Haven't been fishing that long. It's been a really good morning so far, getting half my limit. Let me keep throwing the MEPs over here. I got this whole spot to myself. Nobody's here now. They stocked like three days ago. So the first couple days get really hammered. And then it starts to fizzle out. So if you come early enough, you can get the whole spot to yourself. And a lot of times, like I said, these trout, they don't bite the first couple days anyway. They're getting acclimated to the wild river after being raised in the hatchery their whole life. Eventually they do get hungry and start biting. And that's what's happening this morning. Two trout already. All right, let's keep throwing the maps. See if we can get trout number three. Here we go. Ten seconds later. Another one. Next cast. Nice one. Next cast, guys. Got to go down and get him. Very next cast on the maps. Looks bigger, come here. Yes! He's definitely bigger. Look at those colors on him, guys. Look at how bright and vibrant the red stripe is and the red on the cheeks. Yes, very next cast on the maps. Nobody's here, they're biting right now. Awesome. I literally took three casts here and caught two fish. Awesome. All right, let's see if I can get my limit. Here we go. This hole is on fire right now. Oh, he missed it. That was a nice one. Lost another one. He missed it. That would have been number four. He missed it. He wasn't hooked that good. I saw him. He was a big trout. All right. There's a bunch of trout in here, and they're hungry. No more bites upstream. Let's see if I get another one over here. All right, let me throw the maps in here and see if I can get my fourth trout this morning. It's been a really good morning so far. Landed three, lost about three or four. We'll see what happens. All right, here we go. All right, these trout are all cleaned. The flesh is nice and pink. Look at this. Nice pink flesh. Now let's figure out a recipe for these trout. All right, I'm going to try a new recipe, guys. This is going to be maple syrup glazed baked oven trout. I'm going to boil some syrup. I got onion powder, garlic powder, salt and pepper. I butterflied one of the trout. The other two, I'm just going to leave it with the skin on, and I'll eat it from the inside. I seasoned it. 
It's all seasoned, ready to go. I'm boiling some maple syrup. That's going to be the glaze on top. I'm going to bake it in the oven for about 20, 25 minutes. It should be good. I know a lot of people use syrup when they're cooking trout. It's supposed to add a lot more flavor. I've never had syrup on trout before. I read some good things about it. Let's see how it is. All right, this maple syrup glaze is ready. It's ready to go on the trout, and then the trout's going in the oven. All right, I got the maple glaze all over the trout and on the inside of the trout. Now I'm gonna put these trout in the oven. I'm gonna bake these trout in the oven on 400 degrees for about 20, 25 minutes, and then they'll be done. All right, I think this trout is done. Also baked some fries. Oh yeah, this is done. When the skin peels right off the meat, when the skin peels right off the meat, then it's done. I butterflied that one. I'm not the best fish filleter, so I butchered it a little bit, but that's fine. Let's see how this maple glazed trout tastes. I got some fries to go with it as well. It actually looks really, really good. Meat flakes right off. Look at that. All right, let's put it on a plate and see how it tastes. So the meat literally peels right off the bone. That's how you know it's cooked perfectly. I put the pieces of trout in the maple glaze syrup and the fries. Let's see how it tastes. Looks really good. All right, I'm ready to taste it and see how this Maple syrup glazed trout is. All right, guys, let's see how this tastes. really good have some fries well guys that's gonna be a wrap for this video that maple glazed oven baked trout was delicious I never tried syrup on trout before I did see a few other videos online doing maple syrup and other syrup on trout and salmon, and they said it tasted delicious, so I wanted to try a new recipe. I've cooked trout so many different ways. I wanted to try a new recipe I haven't tried before, and I'm glad I tried that oven-baked trout with the maple syrup glaze. It really was delicious. I made some fries with it. It was a really good late lunch, early dinner. I caught three trout, one short of my limit of four, and I lost like three or four other ones. I'll be out trout fishing again tomorrow and this weekend. It might rain, but I'm going to bounce around a few different rivers, see if we can get some more fall trout. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll talk to you in the next one. Have a good one, guys.